Okay guys, I'm here at Fresh Layers with the director of Fresh Layers, Martin. But we're not talking about your company today, which does detailing PPF and vinyl wraps here in West Sussex. <laughs> um, we're talking about your new acquisition, which is? Uh, my 911 Turbo. Yeah, so look at this beauty, guys. We're gonna take it for a spin and do like a mini review on this. So how long have you had the car, Martin? Um, I've had it a couple of months. So I've cleaned it more than I've driven it. Yeah, first impressions? Yes, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely awesome car. Well, let's talk a little bit about the specs then. So what brake horsepower is this thing uh, got? 483, um, just shy of 200 mile an hour car. And this one's a manual, so it's the desirable one, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a rocket ship. Even for a car of its age, it's still extremely fast and comfortable. It's just a lovely car. Rear engined, yep, rear sitting on top of that rear axle is is the engine twin scroll turbo massive wide 305 19 inch alloys 235s on the front um manual gearbox what else has it got spec wise uh it's well it's fully loaded apart from the uh composite brakes um but yeah it's got every optional extra that porsche could possibly chuck at it really um extended leather dash sports chrono 18-way adjustable leather seats with the high back position on them um, yeah, she's beautiful. Alcantara headlining. Yeah, she's she's a lovely car. Yeah. What's the paint? What's the paint uh, color code? I don't actually know what it is. Metallic. Uh, oh, it's basalt, uh, basalt black. Metallic. Basalt black metallic. Look at it. Twin exhaust. So those twin turbos. And it's naught to sixty in. Uh, three point seven seconds. So this thing will take your license away quicker. Uh, yes, it will, yeah. And, and the problem is the power doesn't stop all the way through. It's yeah. Just, it's relentless in every gear. Yeah, it's, it's for a car of its age, like I say, it's, it's phenomenal. It's a, it's a, well, you'll find out in a minute because you're getting to drive it because I've got a broken foot. Oh, yeah. So unfortunately, there's a, normally Martin would be driving this and I'd be kind of just asking him questions, but a six-foot scaffolding pole fell on his foot and broke it. So, um, yeah. unfortunately, I'm going to have to drive. What a pity. So, <laughs> let's, let's cut there and we'll get going into starting the car up. You don't so, the throttle's nice that. and light. Yeah, clutch. You know you've got the clutch, don't you? Yeah. Mm, there is a good enough. Yeah, not that you can really see a lot with the camera there, but hey-ho. So, clutch is nice and light. Brakes feel good. Gearbox feel is just one of the nicest things in the Porsche. Real it's mechanical. So tight, isn't it? Yeah, it's there's no rubberiness to it. It's it might be really, really tight. It's a lovely. Yeah, it's, a it's lovely got a short gearbox. shift on it. This one from factory as well. Yeah, so it's got the Porsche short shift kit fitted. We, where, are we warm? Are we warm? No, uh, we're not up to temp yet. Yeah, we'll go up that way, and then we can go up through, up along the dual carriageway, along, along towards the Oven. I can just feel from just blipping the throttle. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've got to, you, get used you've got to, to be more clutch. aggressive on the clutch. Yeah, I'm you just got to get used off. to it. Just, just get used to it. But yeah, it's, it's smooth though, isn't it? Yeah, there's no rattles. Yeah, solid. It's just got a solid feel about this car. Considering how old it is, it's not like, like an I mean, old car, is it? I'm barely touching the throttle. I can feel it wants to it wants to go. Mm, yes. But you could also live with this, couldn't you? It just cruise around. Every day. Yeah, you could use it as I mean I don't. C can I we don't. turn the um sport suspension on? Yeah. I feel the difference. Is, you'll feel it straight away. Yeah, it's quite straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, it's stiffer, isn't it? Straight away. It's it's not, I'd be honest, I don't really like it. It's probably all right around a track, but yeah. it's not all right on the road. So you, you can keep the sport on and then just keep the suspension off. Because the suspension on this is lovely anyway. Yeah. See, it's got the passam, so it's you know it's, it's got a nice suspension setup. When it go when you go in a corner, it just feels so it's good. It's very very planted, obviously with four wheel drive, yeah. and obviously the engine being in the back. It's kind of the way this. Uh, I can't describe it. I've had lots of nice cars, but the, it's like an elastic band. Yeah. The way the power delivery is in this car, because you get it's like you're being kicked up the backside, shall we say? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to just rev it out, you know, and, and feel the. Feel well, you'll run you'll run out of road before you can rev it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, you'll see second and third. Want to go follow him? Don't we? Yeah, just go that way. Second and third. 
the only really need to take it because you've got to be sort of careful. Well, I'm always careful in this because they have sort of a you don't need to rev them high, and you don't want to either because you don't want to get any over revs in any of the on the computer because well, that can cause a few issues with resale and stuff. You, have to come off you get the clutch. used to the clutch, aren't you? You've got to come you off, just it. come off the clutch, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you loiter around on it, it will uh... the clutch is like basically on or off, yeah, even though it's nice. It is, it takes a little bit of getting used to say so my friend that drove it on Saturday for me to the Goodwood show, he, he had to drive it and he, it took him a little while, but in a couple of minutes you'll get used to it. What I bet it's hard to break traction from the back, isn't it? Um, you've got so much Yeah, weight I, I've it. done it once when it was slightly damp and it was rather scary. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I don't drive it like a hooligan anyway. I, you bet, I bet you do. <laughs> you can't, it's too powerful. Honestly, it's we're up. Are we up to temperature now? Nearly up uh, nine. Yeah, we're up there. Yeah. So should we do? Should we go down the motorway or go on to the? So back if we road? go up, if we go up that way, yeah. and then we can go on the slip road through Ovin, then you'll um you'll get a good feel of it. You won't be. A, you don't need to give it much in first. Just get it out first, fairly quick. Um, it's the best way to drive this, I think. Yeah, get it right on the revs. Oh, <laughs> he's getting used to it. You're used to the old flappy paddles, though, aren't you? Not a real manual. I've forgotten how to drive. Exactly, haven't you? Just right second. There you go. Now you can give it some. Right, I'm not going full. I'm just letting the power come on. That's yeah, 6,000. Yeah, it's you're impressive. Not, you're not even really flooring no, it. No, I'm not. I'm not I'm I just feel it. It's not framing me back in my seat. I'm just gently pressing the accelerator. We're standing yeah. in the speed limits of this video as well, yeah. guys. Which is quite difficult in a car like this. <laughs> you have to concentrate, not right. to speed. Yeah. It's lovely. It feels so, solid though, doesn't it? This is a little bit of a cult car as well, isn't it? People that know their Porsches. Yeah, the manual 997s are a, a, a brilliant car because I think the 991 is just it's an amazing car. Um, yeah. But they are big, you know. And, and for me, that's why I didn't go for anything newer because I like this is about as big as I'd want to go. Yeah. I can put this in my garage at home. I couldn't. That's tight, so getting a 991 in turbo is going to be almost impossible. And I think these are at the right price at the moment, where they're they're not going down. That's for sure. I hope not. I mean, I bought it because it's something I've always wanted, so it's not so yeah. much about the money. Yes, yeah, so if you can find a nice example, and this one is in really good nick. This one's spotless. You're, yeah, you're laughing, aren't you? But it is probably hard to find one because you don't want one that's been trapped. Really, we're talking about th these aren't the perfect track cars because no. they're that stage where they're too valuable um, and they're probably too quick as well like uh, a bit like my M4 CS you want to have something a track toy that you could just hurl around and if you come off and wrap it into the wall you know it's not going to crush you um, <laughs> financially so this is a car that you, you drive around and enjoy put your foot down enjoy it and take it to shows and stuff like that people yeah. really appreciate it I mean that's why I bought it and also it's got back seats I really wanted a GT3 but I've already got a couple of unpractical cars so at least this one my little girl can come out and the, you know the dog or whatever we, we can go out in it as, and we do you know and then if I want to have a bit of fun in it or you know go to the old show and whatnot which is what predominantly what I've bought it for because I've always been into my Volkswagens and it seems that all my friends that have grown up with Volkswagens are now into Porsches so yeah. this is my third one now and it's it's sort of for me it's, it's, this is a bit a proper bit of kit what's the weight of the car? Just over fifteen hundred kilos. Same as my M4. It doesn't feel heavy. No, it doesn't. I mean, no, it's good. I mean, like I say, it's, it still gets along considering its age. You really I mean, feel the front of the car on Porsches. It's really point and go, isn't it? Yeah. Really feel it. Yeah. Brakes need to warm up a bit. We go back up through Oven. I think go up that way and then back round. It's a nice one. Very slow with it. 
throttle, aren't you? Oh, yeah, they are. I don't want to take any risks. Yeah, you're not getting the full potential. I could, I could floor it, but I can, I know, I can feel the power's there. It'll just, if I floor it, it'll just kick us both back, won't it? Um, it's a very powerful car. Yeah, I think that you'll. Yeah, I mean, you. you well, should. should we? Yeah, we'll go. We'll take a right here, yeah, and then turn yeah, off yeah, on the off road. Yeah, go up to Ovin and then back to work that way. Yeah. Right, I do a. Put a bit of distance here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna floor it. Yeah, and then just take it to sort of six thousand, get it into third, and then floor it again. Well, I'm full. Right, I'm full. Well, there goes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Different now, eh? <laughs> and again, there, there, it kicks yeah, in. that's the power. See? Wow, wow. There we, we're speeding now, so I'm coming off the speedo. Yeah, coming off the accelerator. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we won't say what that was. Oh, it's only. Oh, I think it's marginal, but um, yeah. 72. Yeah. 70, I don't know. Really powerful. And you hear the turbo as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. But you, can you feel the torque now? Yeah. What gear are you in? Uh, we're in fourth, I think. So even if you put it into sixth, oh hang, we want to go. Uh, no, we want to, yeah, we want to go down there in a minute. But even in fifth, that's back down to third. Yeah, so go into fifth or sixth, and you've still got the same. The, the, the torque doesn't run out. The turbo just takes a split second to spool yeah, it's up. It's not really got any lag, but a little bit. But you, then you are, you know, in sixth gear or whatever. It feels really nice. You know what? It feels mechanical as well. Yeah. Is this like this a hydraulic rack, isn't it? I think so, yeah. It's got to be. They've changed them, haven't they? It's so nice. <laughs> right, we wanted to. Got no word. I think, oh no, I've got to turn off there, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, you want to turn off here. It's a nice little bit of road here. Steering wheel feels like just about the right size. It's just, it's just, I mean, yeah, seats so are comfortable. Really comfortable. You've got like tons, of, tons of bolster support. You've got the armrest there. That's high enough that you can rest your elbow on it. So the gearbox is the best bit on this car. That's why the manual's the one. Yeah. Especially for me. like a 997 on steroids uh, yeah. um, that turbo it's just gives, you an, when it goes, it gives it? you an extra shunt that you don't get that's what I mean it feels like you're being catapulted yeah. that's, that's how the power delivery is on this car yeah, the chassis is so damn good though it feels solid doesn't it yeah it's so balanced mm -hmm. Porsche just know how to engineer the suspension like you would think that having a massive great engine in the back there make the car really unsettled but it does it right, just three point six you know twin turbo big old lump and the you know it almost feels like feels slanted doesn't car, it yeah. it does but it is to be fair though that's why it's so good because it is still a small car yeah. I mean this this is probably almost the same size as my Mark 7 Golf yeah. you know it's not a big car I've got the hang of the clutch now yeah I love the instrument panels in white as well and yeah. the the instrument panel they put in the middle is the rev counter rather than the speedo. Yep. So you're sort of like more in, more interested yeah. in how it's revving than how fast you're going, well, which is nice. But yeah, you've got the digital speedo in the middle, but I don't think you really look at that too much. No. Yeah, she's, uh, say it's, it's a good all-rounder, I think. It's a, it's it doesn't feel old, one. does it? No, it doesn't. If, well, it's, I've been in the latest Porsche. Totally different. Well, they've stuck to this kind of same bulkhead on the dashboard, mm -hmm. but Lovely leather, it's proper yeah. leather. I as must well. admit, the entertainment system in this is rubbish. Is um, it? Yeah, it really is. A lot of people upgrade them, but I'm not going to because I don't want to mess around with the car. It's 15 years old, isn't it? Yeah, 2008 it is. So, yeah, she's, she's fairly old now. But I suppose I don't even think back when it came out, the entertainment system was that good in this. I mean, it's got the bows, so when you put this, I mean, I, I like my old CDs anyway, so I'm happy. So, so I put it in, put the CDs in. Very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, I could, I could, I could have one of these. You could if you sold your M4, but yeah, it's not the same car, though, is it? No, your it's... M4's a bit more modern. And I'm, I miss the manual. I really miss the manual. Just being able to change gear and dump it into a Still gear. So you're in more control. You've got more to do. Yeah, yeah, you have. And it gets you more involved, doesn't it, in the driving? Yeah, I like the hydraulic rack. You feel the road a little bit more with the. I've got an electric rack on the M4. And it's great. 
it really is great and, and it turns as you want but you don't feel it so much when there's like you know you can feel, get a bit more feedback from this steering wheel oh yeah oh, well, someone's having a little overtake there of brakes are warming up now I can feel yeah, the bedding the brakes are good yeah that's got good brakes that's the bit on this dropping down to third you've got traffic lights coming up here this is the uh, oh okay I know we are yeah and then it's 30 through here so a little stroll back it's lovely mate I think you've made a good choice um, yeah you've made a good choice I hope so yeah when you I mean a nice one of these won't come up that often I mean the, the thing with this car is it's the last owner had had it 11 11 and a half years full full Porsche history still under Porsche warranty which is unheard of in you know for a car this age. I mean, I've got a warranty on it till next year, which is mad. The receipts for this car are phenomenal. I mean, it doesn't need or want for anything. Yeah. You know, luckily, like the, the dealer I bought it off of, I stupidly bought it blind, but he was that confident that the car was that good that he just said to me, look, if you don't want it, pay for the delivery and then send it back. And I saw oh, it, and me doing what I do for my job, I was just gobsmacked on how good the car was. I bought blind as well. Because you could, yeah. it, it's I got covered. a good feeling from the dealer though. Well, you're covered by distance regulations Yeah, you now. are, So if you yeah. get it, you've got like 14 yeah. days, yeah. you can just say, no, not to happy. To be fair, he was good as gold. Um, really, really good. Um, yeah, it's a guy called Matt Johnson, cars, they're, they're fantastic. He does some lovely bits, he does actually. But yeah, he, he's been great and um, so as soon as I got the car, I decided to, uh, because it's so immaculate, PPF, about 75% of it so far, uh, between jobs, and ceramic coat, the rest of it, and I say I'll just enjoy it, really. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a rawness to it that I miss. <laughs> it's old school, that's why. Yeah, it's got, it's, it's got, still old school in a way, isn't it? It is. It's refined, just... but it's still, the, the thing with this car is, I think you'd have to push it very hard to find its... Yeah. Limit. But it's I think comfortable putting that, that power down, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. There's no like twitching I, at the back. No, 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 no. It's very well planted. But I it's four-wheel drive as well. It's, yeah, it's said. yeah. So it's you're not gonna sort of in the winter. You're still gonna be able to get the performance out of the car. Yeah, you just have to have your wits about you. I think because it, it could catch you out. I mean, I know a few people that have got these. You know, you have got to yeah. keep your wits about you because they are still a yeah. You, you blink and you might be sideways. Yeah. Even though it's four-wheel drive, that obviously your power's in the rear end. And, it's hard to, it's hard to, um, you know, Give it one more to get, beans here, look. get it to let go. But for Porsche, let's go on you. You're in trouble. You get a little bit of bouncing from the front, and then it'll go. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's normally the rear-wheel drive ones. If you, if the front starts skipping, you're going too fast, and the back's going to have to go. Okay. I remember that from driving a um, 996 Carrera in the wet. The owner said to me, "If you really go around the corners, you start feeling the front go." Just give up. Yeah. <laughs> But I think the four-wheel drive will save you a bit with this, but it's rear-wheel biased as well. It still feels yeah. like you're being Oh, yeah, pushed. you're being, yeah, you're being pushed a lot. It's, it's lovely. I think, you know, this for me, I've never owned a Porsche. But now I will sit there looking at 997 turbos and thinking, oh, I know what that's Tonight, about. Tonight, that's what you'll be up to. Yeah. To be honest with you, I really wanted a GT3 997, but... Um, they just went up and up and on and, and on my head was saying look get something you can actually use all the time and the fact of the matter is you can use this all the time and I, again with the family i've already got like i said earlier i've got cars that i can't go out with a family and that are impractical yeah. a car that i can use around a track this isn't for that this is just to have as a sort well, you of could, lifetime goal you yeah, could track it you could try i don't want to because yeah. it's too precious to it, me it'll put a lot of wear on the front i just i'm just not interested it's it's a car for me to sort of even poodle about in you know nice days out and yeah. a few nice shows a couple of road trips probably probably do wales might go to germany next year i want to do the porsche museum in it oh, you know yeah. things like that let's know when you're going mate i'll come yeah with i'd you. love to do that there's a few customers and friends that have become friends of mine that want to do it so this will be a lovely that, car to just cruise up in the bmw museum in frankfurt as well i think so yeah i want to do the stuttgart um i want to do the Volkswagen Museum as well. There's loads of places I want to go, but this car would be good to do it all. So, so, nice. so if you floor it now, just a sec, you'll get a. That's it. You feel that, yeah. and that's without the sport button engaged. So, it's so well this, yeah. set up. You can have so much confidence in this car. You can really <laughs> too could, much. Yeah, you can feel yourself just ragging it along these roads. Like, 
you know, losing your license kind of speed because yeah. the car is so safe and planted, well engineered. It's just an yeah, she's explosion. a beautiful car, even for its age. Like I say, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a cool car, and I'm sure one day, you know, I mean, now it looks beautiful, but I think mean, one day it'll be a bit of a, a collector's car, well, maybe. It is now. Well, they're getting that way. I think the manual's definitely, to me, the way forward. The tip boxes are. Yeah. I'd want a manual. Yeah, the tip boxes in these are okay, but PDK's just come such a long way. What colours did they come in? Silver, black? Uh, red. We, I really wanted a gauge red. They do grey, they do a beautiful dark metallic blue, they do a bright blue. They're quite a few colours actually. Black seems to be a fairly, black and silver seem to be extremely popular. Yeah. I wanted a red one, but trying to get one no. just wasn't going to happen. No, you couldn't. This one's too good to pass on. Uh, not to. Not oh, to, I had uh, to have it with the history and the, you know, and, and the and the, the sort of yeah, and the, the car the way it was. It's just, uh, say, with the dealer and whatnot that I dealt with, you just couldn't not have it really. That Parking up behind your little black uh, peril now. Owns that. Now that's a true, that's a cool true, car. true car enthusiast. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, mine. Thanks a lot. No I worries, really mate. enjoyed this. Glad you enjoyed it. And uh, guys, if you're watching, what's the name of your uh, social media? The YouTube. Is it Wax is Dead? Uh, it's the Fresh Layers. Fresh Layers. My, I've got my own Instagram, which I've just set up for this, which is 997 Turbo. But it's just for me to have photos in the future really, so, of the car. 997 Turbo on Instagram and Fresh Layers. Fresh Layers the UK. Fresh Layers UK. Business. Wicked. All right then, Martin. Cheers, so, mate. Lovely to see you, mate. I'll, I'll catch you later. All yeah? right, take care. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to see you, Drive mate. Drive off. Yes, right. That, I, I love it. I really. Where was I when